Are you serious? Are you serious? A threat on the life of President Donald J. Trump has been stopped. We want to thank the FBI for doing a great job on this. A man wanted to attack the White House with an anti-tank rocket. An anti-tank rocket. Uh, he was arrested. A Georgia man who had detailed plans to use an anti-tank rocket to storm into the White House was arrested in a sting today after he traded his car for guns and explosives, according to authorities. Hashir Tahib, a 21-year-old uh, from Cumming, Georgia, was arrested today and is charged with attempting to damage or destroy a building owned by the United States using fire or explosives, according to a U.S. attorney. It wasn't immediately clear whether Tahib had an attorney who could comment on the allegations. Now, a local law enforcement agency contacted the FBI back in March after getting a tip from someone who said Tahib had become radicalized, changed his name, and planned to travel abroad according to an FBI agent's affidavit filed in court. The affidavit said that Tahib told a confidential FBI source in October that he planned to travel abroad, uh, and uh, which the agent wrote refers uh, to traveling to a territory controlled by the Islamic State, Hajar. Uh, because he didn't have a passport, he couldn't travel abroad and told the FBI source that he wanted to carry out an attack in the United States against the White House and the Statue of Liberty. He met with an undercover agent and the FBI source multiple times last month and was also in frequent contact using an encrypted messaging application, according to the affidavit. During one meeting with the agent and the source, Tahib advised that if they were to go to another country, they would be one of many. But they stay in the United States, they could do more damage. Uh, according to the affidavit, Tahib explained that jihad was an obligation uh, that he wanted to do as much damage as possible and that he expected to be a martyr, meaning he expected to die during the attack on the White House. At another meeting, he showed the undercover agent a hand-drawn diagram of the ground floor of the West Wing of the, United, of the White House and detailed a plan for the attack. In the affidavit, he asked the undercover agent to obtain the weapons and explosives needed to carry out this attack, and they discussed selling or exchanging their cars uh, to pay for them. Tahib told the undercover agent they needed a base where they could regroup and where he could record a video to motivate people. He stated he would be the narrator. Clips of oppressed Muslims would be shown and American Israeli flags, American and Israeli flags would be burned in the background. Uh, last week, Tahib told the undercover agent he wanted to pick up weapons this week and drive directly to Washington, D.C. to carry out the attack. Tahib said that they would approach the White House from the back road, causing a distraction for police, then would proceed into the White House using an anti-tank weapon to blow open the doors then take down as many people and do as much damage as possible, according to the affidavit. Tahib told the undercover agent he had never shot a gun, but could learn easily and also said he had watched some videos of how grenades explode. Tahib met with the FBI source and undercover agent today in a parking lot in Buford, Georgia to exchange their cars for a semi-automatic assault rifles, three explosive devices, and a remote detonators, and an anti-tank rocket. A second FBI source met them and inspected the vehicles, and then a second FBI undercover agent arrived in a tractor trailer with weapons and explosives 
that had been rendered inert by the FBI. The undercover agent and Tahib talked about the guns, how to arm them, how to detonate them, how the explosives work, how to use the anti-tank rocket. Tahib and the undercover agent and the FBI source, whom he believed to be part of his group, turned over their car keys to the second confidential source and then loaded the inert explosives and guns into a rental vehicle. Then after they got into the car and closed the doors, they arrested Tahib. This, uh, of course, this is all being brought forward now by U.S. News, also the Associated Press. Uh, also, I got this from Drudge. All of these reports coming in. And so, you know, did he specifically want to kill President Donald Trump? Well, not specifically. He wasn't planning an assassination, but he certainly would if he could. As he said, he would blow the doors open, come, come in with guns blazing, take as many people down as possible, and do as much damage as possible. So certainly, um, we're very thankful that the FBI was able to get this man off the street. It's, it's getting, it, it, again, blood moon, the Blood Moon Harbingers, it's coming, folks. We're, seeing, we're starting to see the Harbingers, the Super Blood Wolf Moon over Washington. Last night, 4.7 earthquake hits Ocean City, Maryland, shakes buildings in Washington, D.C. The, the, the nation is still on a government shutdown, and there are many other signs that seem to be breaking loose. So pray for America. And pray for one another. And mostly, make sure you're right with God. And give your life to Jesus Christ. Pray for the President of the United States and his wife and family. Vice President, his wife and family. All members of Congress. All members of the Senate. All nine Supreme Court justices. And all 50 governors and everyone else. Pray for, pray for the police and the Secret Service and everybody, FBI and everybody else. That has to try to keep people safe in this nation. We're living in the last days.